guess what I'm doing today? It's getting, it's 13 days till Christmas, so I better hurry up. Uh, every year I make chocolate covered pretzels for the past over 40 years. I'm not kidding. You. So um, I've been making chocolates that long. Like I have all kind of molds uh, for the chocolate molds. Hey, little girl, quit it. She's trying to get the camera. My cat, what else is new? Anyway, I'm doing the rods today and I'm doing maybe about 30 boxes, 30 bags, I think for my Thane's work. He's the GM at work. And he likes to give them out to employees in the office and whatnot. So I wanted to talk about a couple do's and don'ts of making chocolate. The rods, they're thinner than they used to be years ago. Isn't everything a little thumbed down? Uh, the, the containers that I always bought are smaller. And of course, they're more expensive. But you know what? I don't know anybody really who doesn't like a good chocolate covered pretzel. And on that note, it has to be chocolate. I don't, I don't like the um, candy melts. They'll say chocolate flavor. They sell them at Walmart for a couple bucks in little bags, all different colors. They have their place, but not here. Chocolate covered pretzels should be chocolate covered pretzels, okay? Um, it, it's imitation candy, and it looks like chocolate, and it kind of tastes sweet, the other stuff. Anyway, and I like to make my chocolate covered pretzels just so you have enough to hold them. I don't like them to hear. I don't care what you say. <laughs> if you're gonna make me a chocolate covered pretzel, please put the chocolate to about there. We're gonna do it. Um, the chocolate itself, I've been buying the Merkins for a hundred years, but they, uh, the candy shop that I always use quit, quit selling it because the past two years they were telling me, and I noticed this too, and so did my nephew Wesley, I think he said, that it wasn't melting correctly. Like, what is going on? There's several ways to melt this. I like to use a double boiler. I used to have a fancy one. Um, it's not necessary. You just need a pot with some water and another pot that sits in it, just touching the bottom, like not up and over. You know, be careful of that. In fact, if one drop of water gets in your melting chocolate, it will seize up, it's, it won't behave. So be careful with that, like the splattering and whatnot, okay? Anyway, this is now the Clausen, C-L-A-U-S, yeah, I think it's spelled like that. Hey, like Claus, what do you have in mind? Clausen's, and I think it is German, don't quote me on that. I think the guy whose uh, chocolate it is is a, I don't know what it is. Why am I telling you this? Okay, let's get down to some chocolate making. So I'm getting prepared as the chocolate is in the double boiler now. And what I'll need is I need a trivet to put it on the hot pot because I want to bring the whole pot over. Um, just because the chocolate stays longer. Do I need to temper it? Not really, but when you, when you cook it like this and on the double boiler and stir it around, it gets to that temperature, which is the tempering. I, this is how I do it. I don't have really fancy tools. I tried them. I even bought a little chocolate pot. It's like a mini crock pot. Gave it away, threw it away, whatever I did. And I use a ladle. I do three pretzels at a time, and I'm going to show you, okay? And then I lay them on parchment paper. You know me, uh, I wish I got a, a commission on this kind of parchment paper because I tell everybody about it. 100 sheets for $4.19, and they fit perfectly on here. They're, you don't, you know, they don't roll, they're not on a roll from the Webster store. Now the shipping will kill you, but just buy a bunch of other stuff and it'll all be good. So I lay them on here carefully and then I use different sprinkles. Oh, let's talk about that. Sprinkles versus Jimmy's. Okay, let's start an argument here online. <laughs> Jimmy's are chocolate. So these are not sprinkles. These are Jimmy's. These are not Jimmy's. They're sprinkles. Got it? Okay. In fact, the ones that I buy are like the really thin little ones, like really delicate, not the big guys. These smell like cocoa. They're really, really nice. I don't know what brand they are. If I find out, I'll tell you. But I buy them at Make the Cake on Rochester Road. I've been going there for a long, long time. Okay, so let me turn this off. Get my hot chocolate over here, and we're gonna start dipping. There's probably some more do's and don'ts that I wanna share with you. 
because it loves you. Okay, turning the camera off. Alrighty. We have our chocolate. I started making the pretzels. I don't want to tip it because they're still wet. But I'm going to show you what I do. I always keep like a little wet rag candy just in case I get a little bit of chocolate on my fingers. I don't want to be gross. Okay, so what I do, like I was saying, I do not, well, first of all, I don't add coconut oil in the chocolate. A lot of times people will microwave the chocolate. That's fine and dandy. I don't like doing it like that. You have to keep checking it and hoping it doesn't burn. And, and if you're doing that with white chocolate, which isn't really chocolate, we all know, it's really not. It's candy. It's delicious, but it's not chocolate. Don't microwave it too long. It really can seize up on you. So I get, take three pretzels at a time. Can you see this? Oops, I'm gonna push this over a little bit and get this pretzel thing out of the way. Stay there. And I have a nice big ladle. Look, I look like that commercial with the chocolatier. I'm a chocolatier today. When I have so many chocolates in the kitchen, in the dining room, all on trays, if I really do make the candy, um, I call myself Mrs. Wonka. I'm like, get out of the kitchen, Mrs. Wonka's here. So I take this all the way up, okay? And then I just flip it around and do this side. I'm gonna do it so you can see, okay? See how nice that was? Now there's a lot of chocolate on here. So what you have to do is you have to kind of shake it a little bit gently, okay? And then I do this. I take one of the presso rods and I kind of get, you know, one, two, three off, three strokes down. And then I take this one, one, two, three. There's just too much. And if you lay it on the parchment at that point, as you can imagine, what I'll watch here, see the drizzles? There's not that many coming off. Um, what will happen is it'll, it'll spread on the parchment and look ridiculous. So you want just enough, but not, a, not too much. And then I'm gonna lay it down. You have to lay it down carefully, only touching that little part that's left that doesn't have chocolate on it next to each other, but not touching. Okay, now notice I have some sprinkles on there, so I'm gonna do three more real quick. Oh, this one has a little bit of a mar on top. See, it's not perfect, cause, so guess what Jen's going down in the chocolate? That, and now if it's broken, that's another story, you don't wanna do that. But okay, so this is how I do it. One, and two, that's it, four, that, look at that. Shake, shake, shake. I timed myself doing this one time, not really, but I knew an hour had passed. I looked at the clock and an hour had passed, so guess what I did? I counted the pretzels and I had like 102 of them or something. So, not bad. Okay, one, two, three, now get this. One, two, three, get a little bit off. Just make sure it's not really globbing at the bottom, okay? It's like a little stream, like that, little trickle. Okay, and I can fit one. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some uh, sprinkles on next. Okay. I usually fill this whole thing up and I will. So while they're still wet, not sickening wet, but wet. Now, yeah, I use my hands, whatever. Okay. You're going to just take them and put them on. I don't like a ton on, um, but they sure are pretty, aren't they? When you do them like this and then we're going to bag them up. Oh, I don't want to forget you little mister going crooked. Let me show you the bags, okay? I don't want this to be too boring for you. Okay, I buy, you can buy them online, you can buy them wherever you want, but the size that I like is a four by 11. Okay, four by 11. This size does not have a gusset. If you're not sure what a gusset is, for there might be somebody out here who doesn't know. A gusset is simply, see how this is just flat like that? It doesn't have like a little seat, like it isn't flat, like a little, like a box of cereal would be on the bottom, like that. And some of them are, and I think they don't look as nice. I can fit five decorated pretzels in this size. And then just barely enough room to tie them up and with every, whatever you want. I usually use curling ribbon and have great fun. Yeah, boing, 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 you know, like that. This year I'm gonna use these just cause I have them. And they're pretty, they're red and green, and it's that cord stuff, I like those. And the Jimmies will do some of those too. And what else am I thinking of? Um, I got these that make a cake too. So I carefully take this tray. Oh, I can't tip it yet. 
that you can kind of see, right? Can you see how pretty? And the little uh, um, jimmies or sprinkles that fall on the bottom that I had too much, you know, so don't worry about that. You can reuse them. It's not a problem. I didn't touch anything much. So I'm gonna do a few more. Why don't I just do a few more for you and then I'll back, I'll stop it and I'll bag them, okay? You know, it's funny. When I'm doing things in the kitchen, I do not like to sit, but I wanted you to see this. So I was trying to. A lot of people have said, why don't you show you and the food at the same time, Shirley? Because I can't turn my camera that way. <laughs> I tried it, remember it was cutting off the whole thing? Yeah, we'll do like this. This is the pot that goes in the double boiler. It's not an official double boiler. I think I showed you. You can also do this, watch. But do it in the same place. One, two, three. Is it drippy? Not really. So let's do some like that. Okay. One. I find that the salt kind of goes into the chocolate if you do that the whole time. And that can seize your chocolate too. Seize by being, make it hard again and not liquidy. Okay. Like that. Let me just do these and I'm going to stop the camera. This is the chocolate sprinkles. And they really do taste like cocoa. They're delicious. Okay, I'm gonna stop it here and then I'll remember something that I forgot. <laughs> Just wanted to show you so you're not concerned, oh, are they melting or not? When you first put your chips in your double boiler, they look like that, like they just look soft. But as you can see, all you have to do is stir, 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 and they won't end up being nice chocolate for you, okay? So if you were concerned about that, like, hey, they're not melting, don't worry, let them get to this point and then you can stir smooth. I'm gonna add a whole lot more now. I'm back over to the stove because I'm gonna add more chocolate to the double boiler. Say that three times fast. So this is just a pot with water, right? The water's to about here. Here's my chocolate pot. Carefully, remember, don't splash, okay? And I, I feel it barely touching the water. That's what you want, okay? There's still some chocolate in here, but it doesn't matter. And if your chocolate goes hard on you, say like, oh, you got interrupted and you couldn't finish doing what you were doing, no worries, don't take it out, don't scrape it out. It'll, it'll harden and then you just put it on the stove again and then now another double boiler. So I'm adding more chocolate. Okay, I usually put, I guess, about three pounds at a time in to work with. Okay, and I'm just gonna push the chips down in there because there is some warm chocolate left. Okay, and this will not take long. How high should I have it? Should the water be boiling? Nope, but it should be on like what's called simmer. I would say simmer. So, you, cause you don't want those bubbles and you don't really wanna cover this at this point, okay? So, it'll just take a few minutes. I'll keep getting set up on this side. And then we'll be back here. You want to peek inside? I just pushed them down in that chocolate. Ooh, yum, yum. Okay, BRB. I'm going to try and film this part with one hand. I don't know if I can do that. <laughs> okay, so these ones have dried. Let's see, they're hardened. Okay, so what you can do is slide the whole parchment onto here. I'll just do it and then show you. Yeah, I'm just sliding the whole thing. I'm just picking up the whole parchment. I'm doing that because I need my trays to make more pretzels. I'm going to keep the, cho the uh, chocolate jimmy one separate. I'll just keep piling this up and then I'll take them off, bag them up. Okay, so just slide them off. Just make sure they're cold. They do, oh, you don't have to put them in the freezer or the fridge. I just let mine like this. Okay, I did four containers of pretzels and I still have some chocolate left in the pot. So you know what I like to do with that? I like to dump some honey crunch peanuts in it or I'm making a few cocoa bombs uh, in my little molds and I'll fill them with homemade Ghirardelli chocolate, hot chocolate. Look, see how they stick there? Okay, so you can, you can do these a number of ways. I um, have, done the chocolate covered pretzels and put peanut butter on them like this. I've drizzled, in other words. Okay, you just kind of take a spoon, go back and forth. I'm gonna re-dip. Um, you can use 
It, it sounds like not fondant like they make cakes with. I don't personally like fondant, but this is a version of fondant because it will get hard. Um, you know, it won't stay soft. Think eating pork cookies. <laughs> I have a recipe for that too, by the way. And they work, and it works, it really works. So I do that. And I can't forget these two little guys here, right? And did you notice something? That the handle, where you pick it up, your fingers won't get chocolatey because you leave that little bit of pretzel, see? So that you can pick it up like this, see? Like that. And these ones are pretty too, don't you think? But um, they're a little gooey right now. But see how they look? Pretty. And so I'll have three different kinds in the bags. Let me show you the bags too, okay? This isn't all of them, <laughs> but they're still setting. Now, a lot of chocolate sometimes I would put in the fridge. I don't want to steer anybody wrong and mess up your chocolate. And here's the ones with the chocolate sprinkles, see? And here's the ones with the um, Jimmy's, rather, Jimmy's and sprinkles. And I just lay them here on this little parchment. And when I'm ready, I bag them up. And I'm just, like I said, going to use this kind of little cord this time. So I realize everybody does things a little different. My way isn't the correct way. But it's just showing you my way or one way. And maybe you can share how you do things. Um, there are times, like I mentioned, that I do put the chocolate in the fridge. It gets a little shinier. Uh, it sets faster. Uh, I don't use the freezer personally. I just put it in my chiller drawer, you know, like the cooling drawer uh, or the fridge if you have room. But any way you do it, um, kind of it's just like a gift of love, right? The kids like them, adults like them. Did you notice that? The adults like them. They're pretty, they're good for teachers. Uh, you know, something different like that is from you, from homemade. Get the kids involved and have them help and then they can proudly hand it to their teacher. <laughs> and the way I abuse my mailman with the packages going out all the time, I definitely have to bless him <laughs> with something. <laughs> so um, there you have it. Um, if I didn't say things correctly or whatever, let's chat about it, you know? This is what this is for. It's for basic in the kitchen stuff, do's and don'ts in the kitchen. So if you have any questions, um, but shout out to Make a Cake. Like I said, I've been going there for since July of 1981 when they opened. And that happened to be when I had my first daughter. So, all right. Thanks for watching. I got to bag all these up now, <laughs> but it'll be worth it.